Hello friends, my name is Jitender Bafna. Today we will going to see what are the ARM REST services provided by MuleSoft. So basically MuleSoft provides set of API which can be used to create servers, server group, cluster on your any point platform, cloud of runtime manager. Okay. So let me open the any point, you know, uh, let me close this. So if you go to exchange you can search for ERM REST services it provide a lot of APIs okay and we will see uh, some of the APIs and I will going to publish a set of video which can explain almost maximum number of APIs okay so let me say like runtime manager API allow you to use the REST calls to communicate and interact with the mule runtime that reside in the server, server group and the cluster. So basically you have a uh, like control plane in your cloud hub and the data plane is in your on premise. So right uh, like uh, if you want to create any server group or anything on the cloud hub you can use this API. If you want to fetch any server information, server group information you can use this API. Okay we will see one by one the API, the first API we will see like uh, the first thing what we have to do so let me go to I have mule runtime so let me copy my mule runtime and uh, let me search the mule runtime where is mule runtime okay this is my mule runtime I will copy it and I will paste it at two location so I want to create two runtimes at instance 1 at instance 2 the first thing I need to start the run mule runtime on both the instance basically I need to uh, start both the instance I will go to bin mule.bat let's wait till it gets started no I can log into any point platform I can go to servers and what I will do I will try to create uh, I will try to add the servers here so I want my control plane into the cloud hub on any point platform okay so simple command so see add server copy this command go to notepad paste remove dot slash because this is required for Linux we are working on Windows now del1 okay copy this command now go to bin folder of instance 1 and like go command prompt open the command prompt and paste this okay so you will see one server is created here okay now let go to instance 2 so right now on both mule runtime is on the same machine go to cmd paste it just change del1 to del2 it should be unique okay now if you see there will be two okay to del1 and del2 now other thing we need to restart the mule runtime because they are still in created state so we have to make sure they are in the running state go to bin folder just click on mule.bat go to instance 1 also and just go to bin folder and run on the mule.bat this is the batch file so one server is running so you can see it here okay I think both should be now running in running state okay the both servers are in the running state we can create the server group from here so basically server group is nothing it's a grouping of your server into a single you know uh, entity so that is the server group when you want to deploy the application you don't want to deploy on both the server you can deploy on the server group it will automatically deploy on both the server it can be also used for many purposes load balancing and all such kind of thing okay so like to run your application on the multiple servers uh, like there are many advantages of server group so uh, we will not going to discuss in this uh, video so now first thing I want to face this server information so for that what I can do even like you can create the server from here uh, instead of going to any point platform but let's find we'll say get in get this is my URL copy this URL okay paste it here so get is the method what are the parameter required? you can see you even you can test it from here so the first header required is X any point environment ID copy this go to header in the postman 
the second parameter is required organization id i will tell you how we can find those value now the third will be the authorization header so we have to pass the authorization header so let me find out the environment id first go to any point platform go to access management go to environments just remove this two and just click here and click on this send box so once you click on this send box it will give you environment id so this is my environment id i will copy it here now let me find it out my organization id so click on this cell this is your either you can copy the organization id from here or you can copy from the url also so let me copy from here only now next thing authorization so how will you generate a bearer token so for that there is a different url or different endpoint http any point platform that we also accounts dot login where you have to pass the any point username the password okay of your any point platform just send the request it should give you a token okay this token you can use it for one ri i actually so bearer space control v now i will send a request so once i send the request i will get all json response back let uh, let we analyze it what is that response so basically this response contain a server del2 which we have added into the any point platform runtime manager that is our control plane and the del del1 so both server are here if you see the ip address 192.61.0.2 it's they both are same because we have we have a both mule instance running on the same server the status is running okay and the server status is running there are other information about jvm what is java runtime whatever like what is operating system windows 10 such kind when mule license will expire such kind of details is available so what is mule runtime what is gateway version so i will keep this response we will require like server id when we will create the server group so this is my server id for server del2 and server id for del1 okay i will keep those thing now next point now we have seen like how we can create the next endpoint we can go to server group and we can create the server group. either go to runtime manager in any point platform or go to servers either you can create your server group from using add server command okay not sorry i'm very sorry create group under create group give the name of the server and just say create group but i want to create using rest api currently you can see there is a del1 and del2 but no server group so there is a endpoint available in your uh, erm rest services so you can search for server group resource server groups and the post the server group post okay i will copy this and i will change it here itself because the, this parameter remains same x and any point environment id or i can the authorization and this method will become post okay and it require body when we use post it require body or json okay so i will pass the json and let me find out the payload which it required so this is the payload it required paste it now we want the server group id so we can copy from our previous response paste it here now let me find out second server okay let me go and paste it here and you can give the group name so i will say test demo group okay and make sure like you are passing this three parameter x environment id this is required for all the erm api this three parameters okay and this is my body where i am passing the name and the ids of the server which we have fetched from the previous api call send you can see 200 okay let go and any point platform check it just refresh okay it already created the test demo group and we have passed the test demo group okay and let's check under that there are two servers del1 and the del2 so you have, you have seen like we can create the server group from the api call instead of creating from any point platform the next thing 
we can fetch the server group details also. It's simple. We will use the same API. We will use get, okay, and we will remove the body. We don't require the body when we do the server call, okay, and like uh, none. So when we use the get, okay, we don't want, you know, we don't require any body, okay. Simply like and make sure you have these three headers parameters and now send the request. It will give your server group detail. Copy this on different notepad and let examine what is this. So here you can see the server group ID. What is your server group name? What is type server group? What is the status of your server group? Then under that you can see del1. That is your server status is running and it's a part of test demo group. Even you can see del2 test demo group and like all those details which we fetch in our previous API. Okay. Now next thing we will explore more APIs. Let's go. Now I want to remove one of the server from the group. So if you see server group ID servers under that server and you can delete it. Not this one. I think we are at wrong place. One minute. Uh, server group. Server group ID. okay let's wait so now we want to delete so go to server group okay let me check where is the message yeah this is server group and under that you can see this delete method remove the server from server group and this is the URL copy this URL and like server group ID so we have already called the server group API and we got the server group ID okay so I will pass that server group ID as a URI param. Okay, now server ID. Which server you want to remove? So like we have, uh, if like we have already data. So in this you have a server. So I will remove del1 basically. So this is my server ID. Copy this. Okay, and paste it here. Copy this. Now say delete. And pass this command okay send so it has been deleted we got 200 okay let's verify it so you can see the del1 has been removed from this test demo group okay this is del2 there's only one server now correct so this is how you can remove now how we can add it again okay so for adding there's other API that is the post okay simply what I will do I will change this into post and rest of the parameters remain same okay like server group server group ID and the server ID send it is accepted so if you see again any point so now you can see the two servers in the server group okay now one last API will see how we can rename the server group okay I want to rename this server group so there's a API available so let me go to ARM rest API in ERM REST API, this is a row group ID, this is a patch operation. See, the modify the only group. Okay. You have some code example like HTTP, JavaScript, Python. So, there is an example available. So, you can use this. So, copy this. Okay. And paste it here. Now, change it to patch. I want to require server group ID. So, we have already faced that. So this is my server group ID. Okay. The patch we need to pass the body. So I will just change raw JSON. And we just what we have to pass. Okay. Enter. We just have to pass the name. So I want to change right now the name is test demo group. So I will simply say test group. I will just change the name. let's check it should change it has been changed see test group now it's become from test demo group to test group okay so, so this so what we have seen so how we can face the server details how we can create the server group how we can face the server group details how we can remove the server how we can add the server to the server group again and renaming the server group so these are the APIs we have seen in next video I will show you how 
you can create the cluster and you know uh, other things into the uh, using rest api into any point platform i i hope you like the video thanks for watching